So, hey everybody, here's my next box. And see what I got here. This one is from Turban Products and it's called a Breathe Breathe Cool Supplied Air Respirator System. And it comes with, well, I purchased it with a, a vent hood or a uh, air supplied hood. And an extra reel of hose. Get my packing slip here. Yeah, 50 feet. So that the system comes with 25 feet of hose. And I bought a 50 foot extension. I figure with 75 feet of, of hose, I ought to be able to get where I need to go. All right, this one has product manual and some additional covers for the lens. And this one is the, the unit itself. This is the is an airflow meter. And this is the unit itself. Oh, I see. I do have 75 feet of hose. What they did was, um, comes with 25 as black, and it came with the extra 50 as white, and they packaged those two together. And then this is the turbine unit. I'm not gonna power it up quite yet, but this, there's, there's the feed. Got two air filters. And an adjustment and an on off switch. And plugs into 110. The idea of this is that you set this outside uh, far enough away from where you're painting to not pull in any fumes outside in fresh air. And then you connect the hoses and run it to the inside of wherever you're going to paint, and then it will connect to um, the hood, and if I was painting I would be wearing one of the Tyvek suits, overalls, and then you tuck that inside the overall and zip it up. So, and frankly, as I've been working on things uh, recently, I found more and more chemicals, more and more glues. Um, I was using a two-part not too long ago on uh, on some plastic pieces uh, on the car, and even the two-part adhesive recommends an air-supplied respirator. And you know, for years I've just been using charcoal canisters, but I figured it was probably time. Now I don't remember exactly what the price tag was, but it's on the, it, this setup is on the order of about five hundred dollars, which is for I'll, I'll call it light duty use. What I'm planning to do, 
is uh, is probably very um, very good. Um, a lot of times you want to buy one of these, and they're very very expensive. And I mean, 500 isn't cheap. But I did some online research, and it looked like this was a good system. So I went to the website for turbine products and purchased this directly from them. Uh, received it in a few days. So, so that's part two. So I can spray the paint without um, killing my lungs. Safety issue. Well, so now I've uh, finished unwrapping things. Oh, I still have tape on the hose. Um, for the uh, breathe cool unit, but here's the main unit. Once again, this is a, a flow measuring uh, device. The, I have the hose, and there are two sections of hose, and they're screwed together. The start of the hose is a threaded connection onto the box, onto the power unit. Uh, this one is a quick connect, so that you can um, this is the hood, and the black hose is the jumper that goes from the main hose, and it has a quick connect on the end, and the other end clamps into the hood with a, a, uh, with a plastic clamp. Um, so that all goes together just fine. The instructions indicate that you want, uh, with a hood, you want 6 CFM. If you have a mask, you want 4 CFM, and they're um, shown here on the, they're shown here on the front. So if you, you take this hose and you plug this in like so, and the quick connect, and turn on the power. Time to turn on. The power. Oh, there we go. And you turn on the power, and then we'll turn the speed. Guy, and it has a belt to attach it to your body. Quick connect right there. And the hood has several adjustments. It's got some straps on the inside to um, make it about make it fit right. I'll have to tinker with those and get them right, but for the moment. try to talk inside the hood, um, that works pretty nice. I can feel the airflow coming in uh, just fine. It'll be good fresh air um, with, with that stack of hose. Uh, I should easily be able to put this outside the garage. And uh, as I remember the uh, specs said that you could run this, 
I don't remember the exact number for sure, but I want to say it was 400 feet. You'd have to check it. But you can run it with a lot of hose, and I believe you can put a T in it and run more than one mask or more than one hood. Um, I thought about getting, you, you have the option to get a half mask or a full mask, but with some of these paints and with eyeglasses and things, um, uh, I did some searching and it suggested that the hood was maybe the best uh, because you you have more freedom of movement that doesn't interfere with your glasses and uh, and you get a nice fresh airflow. So I'm going to try that. In some ways um, all of this equipment seems overkill for painting a front fascia um, and I could have probably uh, t just taken it to a shop, I would have saved some money. Um, they could have painted it for me. But I like doing things on my own and for myself and uh, the technology is advanced so um, I thought I'd buy the equipment and with, the, with my in, intention to do some and uh, so I have this for the future. It looks like a nice unit and uh, it didn't totally break the bank. Uh, this plus a new spray gun plus the fan and uh, I should be able to get a nice paint job on that front fascia when I'm ready. I've got the paint to match, I've uh, got all the safety gear. I'll tell you, when I was younger um, I wasn't always as careful with safety gear. I mean I tried to be safe. Um, I used charcoal canister filters and things but I think as time has gone on with the, with the chemicals, the chemicals are getting more and more um, there are more and more warnings, and if there's one thing I've learned over the years is uh, heed the warnings and, and be careful and be safe. So, that's all for right now.